Hey there, everybody. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And I got to tell you, Crossman has got to get, just got to get on it and update the 2240. Almost like they need to make a 2240 XL or this right here. Okay, so before we get started, definitely want to say thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web in these videos. When you're looking for your next air gun, batch supplies, CO2 pellets, compressor, scope, optic, whatever you're looking for. Airgun, of course, please go look at www.pyramidair.com and also please let them know that Rick sent you their way. That way they know that I'm doing a good job for them. All right, so let's take a look at the new Crossman 2240. Now, period. I don't know of another air gun that has been more customized ever. The 2240 has been around for a very long time and people have built mods and done all manner of things to this platform to just go crazy with it. And one of the first things they do is drop a steel breech on it. That's kind of, you need that because then you can put an optic and all kinds of things because the stock 2240 is plastic breech. You're limited to the really kind of cheesy open sights. When you go ahead and put the steel breech on it, now you can put an optic and then you can just go from there. Well, they must have realized that people just want that and they've come out with the 2240 XL and there's a couple other changes that they've made with this pistol. So we definitely have the long steel breech and then we also have this right here. And this has me very excited. That is a threaded barrel and that is one half UNF. So you guys can imagine that uh, that allows for some more customizability. We'll just say that. You have the standard sort of cross block safety here that hasn't changed. They do have some new grips and they are plastic, but boy, they feel a lot nicer than the old grips. So that's very cool. And that's basically it. So you've got a, the same 2240, good power, good accuracy, really good accuracy actually. And uh, just with the mods you probably want right out of the gate. So that guys, is the new 2240. Now, how does it do? Well, that's what we're gonna check out today. Now, one of the things with the 2240 that has confused some people, and we're gonna just look at it real quick here, is when you go to charge the 2240 with your CO2, this is a CO2 cartridge, put a little silicone, you can also use Pelgun oil, whatever you wanna use, just use like silicone or Pelgun oil, don't use other stuff, make sure you're using the right stuff. Go ahead and drop it in here. Now, the sort of urge is to grab a big screwdriver and just wrench this down till you hear it kind of puncture. Uh, you actually don't need to do that. Just get it finger tight like that. And then your first shot actually punctures the cylinder. So you don't need to wrench this down. Just get it finger tight and then you've punctured the cylinder. Now, uh, as far as power goes, I've got uh, sort of a lightweight lead pellet here. I've got the Hotson Vortex here. This is a 12.12. I wanted to get a really light lead pellet uh, that was a good domed pellet, maybe a good accuracy pellet. So I've got that. And because this does a little over six foot pounds, almost six to seven foot pounds, depending on where you are in your CO2, I also have some Gamma Red Fires because you can actually do a little light pesting with this. If you got a garden and you want to take out the little rodents that are eating your stuff and you can sneak up on them and get you know within five to 10 yards, this thing will actually put them down one shot, which is very cool. So squirrels getting in your bird feeder, all that kind of stuff. You get a nice optic um, and you've got something that's compact, light, very affordable and good to go right out of the box. On top here, I have a Hawk red dot. Now, this is a really nice red dot, um, probably costs as much or more than the pistol. But if you're looking at it, you're going to be using it all the time. Worth spending a little bit more on something that makes it easier to shoot with. So this is a Hawk, uh, again, a Hawk 30 millimeter red dot scope. Um, one of the things I like about this, just a little thing, I didn't realize this, so I was playing with it one day. You know how you have on these little uh, turrets, you got a little notch, you're kind of like a flathead screwdriver? Well, on the back of the scope caps, it actually has the adjust, or the little screwdriver end, so you can actually make your adjustments right with the caps. I thought that was pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and put that back on. I sighted this the other day, not very far, maybe, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 feet or so. I'm set up now at about 12 yards, which is, you know, 
36 feet, a little bit longer. And if I'm just target shooting, maybe in my basement or something like that, I don't have a basement here. But if I had a garage or a basement, that's perfect. For, or this is perfect for that environment. But that's about the right range for pistol shooting. Maybe you want to stretch it out further, but realistically, that's going to get us about where we need to be. All right, so I'm going to take a couple shots here, just free holding. Uh, I'm not great at that, just so you know. Uh, and then we'll put it on a rest and see what it can really do uh, when it's less of me involved in the equation. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and shoot these hot sound vortex pellets. Again, these are a lead pellet. And uh, let's see how this thing does. All right, so here we are, 12 yards. Oh, free handed. I got my new GoPro up there. Don't shoot the camera. Don't shoot the camera. Don't shoot the camera. Here we go. All right, so I'm dead center a little bit high. Let's see here. Oh, this thing's got a little zip to it. You forget that, you know, the 22's got a little more pep on the target. Oh. There it is. Okay, so I had three shots basically touching. Okay, so I'm not much of a pistol shooter. I'm working with the Mantis product to get better, but um, it, it, it is harder than it looks, guys. It, it's, shooting a pistol is not like you see on TV. It takes a lot of work, and to get three shots like that, granted I had a couple flyers that were on me, but settling down a little bit, got three really good shots. So now I'm gonna grab a rest and let's see what I can do off a of rest because I think that's really going to give us kind of a real look at what this can do. And we'll shoot another five shots with the hot sun pellets. And then I'll try the red fires, which I think will be also very, very cool. So I'm going to reorganize here and we're just going to try one of the other diamonds. We'll see what we do here. So performance wise, I'm actually shooting a little bit over spec. You go to the website, it says this tops out at 460. I was topping out at closer to 500 with these 13 twos. So that's pretty good. Um, and as you go down in the pressure or you go down in the volume of your CO2, the velocity will come down. And if you shoot very quickly or in cold weather, obviously your velocity is going to be affected as well. But it's close to 90 out here today, pretty much perfect for this kind of shooting. And we're getting 450 to 475 average. So that's actually really good. Um, and it's, you know, between six and a half and, you know, right, right around six and a half foot pounds. So not exactly a slouch either. So let's see if I could do any better off a of rest here. Okay. Okay, so that's five shots about like that. I mean, this is a pistol. That's not bad at all as far as I'm concerned. Obviously, I could adjust my sights a little bit and get that and have every shot in that little square or that little diamond. That would be awesome. So now we'll take and just go over to the red fires. And I was just plinking with these the other day. I really wasn't doing much for accuracy. But I'm curious as to where these are going to line up. And we'll put this maybe in the bottom left square. And then we'll have a good sort of 
how they fit as compared to the others. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, I'm just a little bit high. Okay, obviously that was exceptional. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so here we are. Um, this was me shooting just free holding. And once I settled down, you can see even in my poor pistol skills, uh, could actually put a pretty good group together. And this is from the rest with the Vortex. And it's a really, realistically, a little bit of adjustment on our optic here. And we're putting all of our shots in that square. So that means Jack Rabbit, Rabbit, Squirrel, pests, rats, mice, that kind of stuff. You're going to be able to take them out with ease with this. And it's so small, so light, so compact. It's just an awesome little thing. It's no wonder why this gun is so popular. Now you switch over to the Gamma Red Fires. And this is a pellet that really, it's really very, very good. It may not get a lot of the press some of the other stuff gets. But realistically, there's five shots. And that's the size of a quarter, maybe. So that is pretty good. Again, just a slight drop uh, in, in your adjustment or just back out to 15 yards, really. You'd probably still be in the same spot, or at least you'd drop down a little bit. But this thing just shoots great. Good results here, good power. And the, the upgrades that they've done on this really make this a no-brainer. At the price point you're looking at here, I believe this is going for under 100 bucks. It is hard to not think, I gotta have one of these in my collections. Guys, that's it for now. My name is Rick Utzer here with Ergen Webb. We tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.